Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be solving problems of soil mechanics and foundation engineering from the APSC question paper for the post of assistant engineer under PWD under 3F. This video will also be important for the end semester examinations of BTEC and diploma as well as for other APSC examinations like PWD JE, PHE, WRE, lecturer for polytechnic and irrigation department. So let's get started. So this is the first question. A cylindrical specimen of saturated soil failed under an axial vertical stress of 100 kN per meter square when it was laterally unconfined. The failure plane was inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle 45 degree. The values of cohesion and angle of internal friction of the soil are respectively and there are four options given. So let us solve this problem. Firstly, we know that theta f which is the failure plane is given as 45 degree plus phi by 2 where phi is the angle of internal friction. Now this value of theta f is given as 45 degree. So we have 45 degree is equal to 45 degree plus phi by 2 therefore phi is equal to 0 degree. Therefore, the angle of internal friction is equal to 0 degree. Now, we have to find out the value of cohesion. Now, from Mohr's circle, we have sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 tan square 45 degree plus phi by 2 plus 2c tan 45 degree plus phi by 2 where sigma 1 is the axial vertical stress and sigma 3 is the lateral stress. Now sigma 1 is given in the question as 100 kN per meter square. So we can write 100 is equal to now what is sigma 3 in the question it is given that the soil specimen is laterally unconfined. So there is no lateral stress. So sigma 3 will be equal to 0. So this entire term will be 0 plus 2c tan 45 degree plus what is phi? Phi is 0. So it is 0 by 2. Therefore we have 100 is equal to is equal to 0 plus 2c therefore c is equal to 100 by 2 is equal to 50 kilonewton per meter square since the unit of the axial stress was also kilonewton per meter square but the answers the options are given in newton per mm square so we have to convert this to newton per mm square so it will be 50 into kilonewton to newton we have to multiply it by 10 to the power of 3 and to convert meter square to mm square we have to multiply it by 10 to the power of 6. So this we have 50 into 10 to the power of minus 3 newton per meter square which is equal to 0 0.05 newton per mm square. Hence the answer of this question is option A that is 0 0.05 Newton per mm square that is the value of cohesion and 0 degree that is the value of angle of internal friction. Now let us come to the next question. When the soil mass is an active Rankine state two sets of failure planes develop each inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal. The value of theta is. Now this is the Mohr circle and from here we can see that in active state the angle of inclination of the failure plane is 45 degree plus phi by 2. So the answer to this question is option number D that is 45 degree plus phi by 2. Now let us come to the next question. The next question is in a submerged soil deposit having a saturated unit weight of 22 kN per meter cube, the effective normal stress on a horizontal plane at 5 meter depth will be. So let us see how to solve this problem. Gamma saturated is given as 22 kN per meter cube. 
z that is the depth is 5 meter so what will be the total stress total stress will be gamma saturated into z that is equal to 22 into 5 which is equal to 110 kilonewton per meter square so this is the total stress now what will be the pore water pressure or the neutral stress that is equal to gamma w into z gamma w is the unit weight of water which we can take as 10 into depth is 5 so we get this as 50 kilonewton per meter square now we need the effective normal stress effective normal stress is given as total stress minus the pore water pressure so it will be 110 minus 50 which is equal to 60 kilonewton per meter square so the answer to this question is option d that is 60 kilonewton per meter square now the next question is a 300 mm square bearing plate settles 15 mm in a plate load test on a cohesive soil when the intensity of loading is 0.2 newton per mm square the settlement of a prototype shallow footing 1 meter square with the same intensity of loading is now for clay soil we have this formula sf is equal to sp sorry sf by sp is equal to bf by bp now sf is the settlement of the footing sp is the settlement of the plate in the plate load test bf is the width of the footing and bp is the width of the plate this this formula is applicable for clay soil and in the question it is mentioned that the soil is cohesive so we can use this formula so we need to find out sf that is the settlement of the prototype shallow footing so sf will be from this formula we can get bf by bp into sp what is bf bf is the width of the footing so the width of the footing is given as 1 meter so in mm we have 1 into 10 to the power of 3 mm bp is the width of the plate that is 300 mm and sp is the settlement of the plate that is 15 mm so we get sf is equal to 50 mm so the answer to this question is option b that is 50 mm now let us come to this question the coefficient of earth pressure at rest is and there are four options given now we know that the active earth pressure is associated with the expansion of the soil and is the minimum lateral pressure while the passive earth pressure is associated with the compression of the soil and is the maximum lateral pressure both the conditions find the soil mass in a state of incipient failure in its natural state an element of soil at a depth below ground surface is not subjected to any strain the element is in a condition known as at the rest condition the corresponding lateral pressure is called the earth pressure at rest so the answer of this question is option b that is the coefficient of earth pressure at rest is greater than active earth pressure but less than passive earth pressure now let us come to next question a pile of 0 0.50 diameter and length 10 meter is embedded in a deposit of clay the undrained strength parameters of the clay are cohesion is equal to 60 kilonewton per meter square and angle of internal friction is equal to zero degree the skin friction capacity in kilonewton of the pile for an adhesion factor of 0 0.6 is so uh, let us solve this problem now skin friction capacity that is asked in the question it is given as qf is equal to fs into as where fs is the unit skin friction resistance and as is the surface area of the pile in contact with the soil now this fs into as can also be written as alpha into cu into a s now what is alpha alpha is the adhesion factor and cu is the undrained cohesion in the embedded length of the pile now all these values are given in the question what is alpha that is the adhesion factor is given as 0 0.6 what is cu it is given as 60 k 
kilonewton per meter square and AS is the surface area of the pile in contact with the soil. So, we can write therefore QF is equal to alpha is equal to 0 0.6, CU is equal to 60 and AS will be equal to pi into D into L where D is the diameter that is 0 0.5 and L is the length of the pile that is 10. So we get this as 565.4 kilonewton. So the option closest to this answer is option B. So this will be the answer to this question that is 565.2 kilonewton. This is the next question. Clay layer A with single drainage and coefficient of consolidation CV takes 6 months to achieve 50% consolidation. The time taken by clay layer B of the same thickness with double drainage and coefficient of consolidation CV by 2 to achieve the same degree of consolidation is. Now let us see how to solve this problem. Now we know time factor TV is given as CV into T by H square. Where CV is the coefficient of consolidation, T is the time elapsed and this is asked in the question for the clay layer B. And H is the maximum distance that water has to travel to reach a drainage phase that is, is the length of the longest drainage path. So, uh, for both the layers we need to find out. Now, first we will find out for clay layer A. Now, what is the degree of consolidation? Degree of consolidation U is given as 50%. 50% is the degree of consolidation. Now, Taylor gave the approximate relationship between the time factor and the degree of consolidation according to which for U, that is the degree of consolidation less than or equal to 60%, TV is given by pi by 4 into U square. Now, in this question, the U is 50%, which is less than 60%. So, we can use this relation and we can write, therefore, TV is equal to pi by 4 into U square. U is 50%, that is 0 0.5 square which is equal to 0 0.196. Small t, that is the time elapsed, it is given as 6 months. Now, what is H? In case of single drainage, which is mentioned for the clay layer A because it's given clay layer has single drainage. Now, in case of single drainage, H will be equal to the thickness of the clay layer. H is equal to thickness of clay layer. So, if we assume that the thickness of the clay layer is Z, so, H will be equal to Z. Therefore, TV is equal to CVT by H square. So, TV we can write 0 0.196. CV into T is 6 months and H is Z. So, we can write Z square. So, from here we can find out that CV is equal to 0 0.196 Z square by 6 which is equal to 0 0.0327 Z square. Now for clay layer B. For clay layer B also we have the degree of consolidation as 50%. So, TV will also be equal to 0 0.196. Now, in case of double drainage, because in clay layer B, we have 
double drainage. So in case of double drainage, H is equal to half the thickness of the clay layer. Since the thickness in both the uh, clay layers is same, so the thickness we can assume as Z to be in this case also. And since H will be equal to half the thickness of the clay layer, here we can take H is equal to Z by 2. So we can write down TV is equal to CV T by H square. So 0 0.196 is equal to what is CV for clay layer B? The coefficient of consolidation is CV by 2. So in place of CV, we can write CV by 2 into T by in place of H, we can write Z by 2 whole square. Since it is H square, so we'll write Z by 2 whole square, which is equal to CV by 2 into T by z square by 4. From this equation, if we solve this equation, we will get 0 0.196 is equal to 2 cv by t, sorry, 2 cv into t by z square so in place of CV, we can write this value 0.0327 Z square. So we can write down 0.196 is equal to 2 into 0.0327 Z square into T by Z square. So Z square, Z square gets cancelled. And finally, we get T is equal to 0.196 by 0 0.0654 which is almost equal to 3 months. So the answer to this question is option B that is 3 months. Thanks for watching. If you have any query related to this video or any other problem from any uh, question paper of, for competitive exam or for any entrance exam, you can write to us at the email address given below in the description box. Do not forget to follow our Facebook page. Also do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to click on the bell icon to never miss an update from this channel.